Hare Krishna. I'm in Flushing Hospital right now with my grandmother. She's um not doing too good, to be honest. Last night, she had some complications, you know. Her heart stopped twice last night. They called my uncle. He said, you know, do you want to let her rest in peace? They literally asked him, do you want to let her rest in peace or... Do you want us to continue compressions? And he said, continue compressions. So they started doing the compressions. I guess they brought her back and then her heart stopped again eventually. So now here she is in ICU. I put Tilak on her head. I'm not very good at Tilak because I'm not really what you call a sadhana bhakta. Like I'm not a religious bhakta, so to speak. I'm not very good at religious aspects. You know, I'm just not. Not, I don't know if I ever will be, and that's really not my concern right now. I just want to be able to chant Hare Krishna purely and just help revitalize this planet that I was born on. So as it is, I'm in the hospital, and I've seen death so many times now. I saw it with my mother, and fortunately with my mother, I was able to chant Hare Krishna. And she was out of it too. She was in a coma, and... When I chanted Hare Krishna for my mom, I could see the machines responded so that she heard. And last night I told my uncle, because in my family, they call me Krishna affectionately. They, I'm always chanting Krishna, so they don't, call me Krish, they don't call me Krishna Das or Krishna Servant. They just call me Krishna, you know, Krishna Dede. Everybody, when they come in the house, if they smell incense, they know Krishna's around. So I told my uncle last night, I said, listen, just tell her that Krishna is coming in the morning. I'll be there in the morning to see you. Just hold on. And he said, Krishna, Krishna said he's coming, Krishna, Krishna. And he kept saying, Krishna's coming, Krishna's coming. And when he said that, man, I'm telling you, he told me the machine started responding like the machines lit up. So I know that my grandmother heard, you know, Esme Clark, please pray for us, send blessings to her and our family, you know, all of us. But she's the backbone of the family. I really don't know what's going to happen after she goes. I, I set up a little, I guess you could call it an altar. I put Tulsi there because I know it's going to be pretty much impossible to put Tulsi around her neck right now because it's just too much going on, too much machinery and stuff like that. So I put Tulsi here in the room. I put a on chanting Hare Krishna pamphlet pretty much because Krishna is absolute, because God is absolute. I like, I like to repeat this. Prabhupada repeats it. Everybody repeats it. Anything used for his service is Krishna. His name is Krishna. His friends is Krishna. His abode is Krishna. His devotees is Krishna. His food is Krishna. His activities, his thoughts, his pleasure, anything in connection with Krishna. So I know that I brought Krishna to this room today in the form of his holy names, in the form of pamphlets that have his name on it. My grandmoms is good. So what I'm about to attempt to do is, well, yesterday this came in the mail, an ankh from a very good friend. She doesn't want to be identified right now. It's understandable. But I know it has um, soda light. Um, it has lapis. Like, I guess, lapis lazuli. And it has amethyst in it. So, there's an ankh, a key of life. And it came yesterday. I was having a rough day. I mean, you, you won't believe the challenges I face over small stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, little nonsense like I don't have money to give for Prashad right now so I can't get none and I'm not welcome to come back to the temple the kind of stuff politics that um temple presidents do I'm, I'm beyond that yo that's that's small that's little kid stuff to me trust me it's only one God and he's real and he's about to show himself anyway I'm about to do my best to transfer the benefits of all my austerities to my grandmother Every chant of Hare Krishna I ever did, any anything good in God's eyes that I did, I'm willing to sacrifice that right now for the benefit of my grandmother. I'm not trying to resurrect her. I'm not trying to bring her back to this body to live a long, healthy life. She already did nine decades on this planet in this body, and I've seen that lady suffer a lot. So I'm just trying to transfer my benefits to her. Whatever good thing I had coming to me or whatever good energy I built up, as a result of contact with Krishna consciousness and anything I've done from this birth and even previous births, I want to give it all to her. I want to give it all to her and whatever happens, that's on God's will. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep chanting anyway, so 
maybe I'm offloading some some good karma, some good karma that I probably don't even need because that'll probably keep me coming back to rebirth. So I'm about to offload a lot of this stuff, this transcendental energy, and I just hope that it goes to her eternal benefit, not temporary benefit. Once again, what's the sense of bringing my grandmother back to this body? Asking Krishna. I have no doubt. I have no doubt that if I ask Krishna to please restore my grandmother's health and let her live a little while longer with us, he'll do it for me. I have no doubt. But that's not the kind of man I am. I'm not the kind of man who stands between God and his will. So, if it's time for her to go, I'm willing to let her go. Honestly, that would be a disaster for my family, for more reasons than one. You know what I'm saying? Because, trust me, we depend on her in more ways than one. And I don't mean like she's giving me money or nothing like that. I work. But we depend on her. She keeps stability. My grandmother and grandfather was like the heavenly bull and the heavenly cow. We never went to bed hungry when those two people was alive. She made sure me and Nakia and Lacey always ate. We always had clothes. We always went to school. She always just did so so right by us. You know what I'm saying? So the least I could do is just transfer my good benefit to her. That's all I want to do. If I have anything good coming to me, I just wanted to, tra to travel with her. So I have a little Radha water from Radha Kund. Radha Kun is the most important place in the material and spiritual universe because it's where Radha bathed and, and Krishna loves Radha so much. Krishna himself brings pleasure to all living entities. But who could bring pleasure to Krishna? Only Radha. So this water is for purification because he bathes in this water every day. So knowingly or unknowingly to me when I'm having this bottle here in my book bag Krishna visits me every day whether I want him to or not because he's going to see this water so every once in a while I put some on my head you know or bless somebody and say may you never take birth in the material world and I've done it for my grandmother before but I'm about to anoint her with it again I'm gonna put this ankh near her and just just pronounce what I want to happen so let's see see how this goes all right So here I put the key of life right here, you know, somewhere convenient. And then I'm just going to put some rod of water on her head and transfer the benefits of my devotional service to her. Om Shri Vishnu, Om Shri Vishnu, Om Shri Vishnu. Three drops should do. Uh, I hereby transfer the benefits of my devotional service to Esme Clark for her benefit. Wherever it will take her, whether to rebirth or to a spiritual planet, Vaikuntha Loka, Krishna Loka, wherever it will take her, I just pray for her eternal benefit. I want nothing for myself. There's nothing I want, there's nothing I could ask for at this moment, except that my grandmother's heart be purified and that she could take up her eternal body and her eternal service to Krishna. There's nothing that I want more. You can have all of the benefits of whatever little austerities I've done since dealing with Krishna consciousness. And that, my friends and ladies and gentlemen, is a man who puts his money where his mouth is. You know what I'm saying? So. I don't know what's going to happen to me after this. Because, you know, I just gave up everything. <laughs> Word. I, can't, I, I have nothing to claim. No, nothing. I have nothing. I'm naked now. I'm, I'm back at the beginning. It's as if I never chanted Hare Krishna. It's as if I never went to the temple. It's as if I never spoke to people about this divine consciousness. I'm back at the beginning. I'm like a baby, y'all. So I just, I gave it all up for Esme Ruperta Clark. She hates 